If you've been injured, the insurance company that you hear from is not there to help you. Don't get bullied by insurance companies. Call Jason Ernest and bully them back at 775-727-9500. Tough guys, sassy ladies. There are many colloquialisms used to refer to bikers in the English language. Images of leather, steel, bandanas, and steel toe boots frequently come to mind for most when the topic arises, but there are some accurate descriptions that may not come to mind for many folks outside of the biker community. Lovable rogues and teddy bears. For the members of the VFW Post 10,054 Riders Group in Pahrump, these warm monikers are certainly well deserved. On a mild November morning, they are hard at work preparing to receive riders from all over and from numerous riders groups in preparation for their second annual poker run benefiting local children in coordination with Toys for Tots and the Nye County School District. Post Commander Marty Aguiar, also the acting riders group president, tells me why this mission is important to him, his group of veterans, and the supporting riders. So we're doing our second annual uh, Toys for Tots poker run. Uh, we started it last year when we created our motorcycle riders group through the VFW and we wanted to do something to give back to the community and we thought what of a better way than to take care of the kids out of the Prump Valley. You know the run today is just about having fun and raising money to to support our uh, our local kids in the valley. Uh, right now I can say we've probably raised close to a thousand dollars and we're hoping to to double that by the time the day's over with. Talked to our, my riders group last year when we just formed it, and they said, let's do a Toys for Tot poker run. We just got the Marine Corps League uh, meeting out of this building, and you know all the, all, the, all the entities just merged together at one time, and it was perfect. Organizers for the poker run this year include the Marine Corps League, the American Legion, the VFW, and the VFW Riders Group. And with the success of last year's poker run, they are hopeful that this year will top the inaugural effort. Last year we raised about $1,600. Uh, between that we gave uh, $800 worth of toys to Toys for Tots. And then the other $800 went to Nye County Homeless School Children uh, through, the Nye, through uh, Nye County School District. Like many people in civic organizations such as the VFW Writers Group, motivation to help others comes from personal experience. For Marty, the motivation to help comes from a pungent memory of his past. Because I was poor growing up, and uh, it's about the kids, you know, it's not their fault in any way, shape, or form. So please come out and help. We'd prefer if you just brought toys down. Um, if you want to do a cash donation, just uh, write a check to the VFW and put in the memo box, uh, Toys for Tots. We'll cash the checks and go out and buy the toys. Thank you so much to the Perm Valley, uh, just all the residents of Perm Valley for, for assisting and coming out and taking care of us. It's, it's awesome. And we couldn't ask for a better veteran supporting group than, than the people we have in Perm. According to Marty, age-appropriate donations are usually slim during this program for kids above the age of 13, for whom donors may have a hard time deciding what to purchase. Donations will be accepted through December 10th at the VFW at 4651 Homestead Road. Reporting from VFW Post 10054 in Pahrump, I'm Peter Christian, News 25.